Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Mocha Sombrero from Clown Shoes is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to try Mocha Sombrero. This is a Mexican style chocolate stout with coffee and vanilla. Uh, can art's pretty cool. It's got a, um, a wrestler with four arms and he's got a coffee in one hand, a pot of coffee in the other, and two coffee mugs. Um, I haven't had any uh, Clown Shoes beers in a while. I don't know if they're just not making a lot of beers or if my local beer stores are not getting them, but this is the first one I've seen in a little bit. 7% uh, ABV is on the can. Date is 12-17-18. Uh, that would be the canned on date. Um, three dollars and ninety nine cents. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. Let's go ahead and open it if I can, and get it into a glass. Color coming out is brown, almost like Coke. Yeah, it says stout, so. Hopefully it's darker, nice, rich, creamy, tannish chocolate color head, small and medium bubbles, about a finger and a half of head. Bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap. Color, I would say dark brown. I do have a dark amber hue uh, at the bottom and from what I can see, it's almost on the lines of a porter. Very, I wouldn't say dark, dark brown, but it's dark brown. Let's go ahead and get a smell, see what we get. Roasted malts like that black patent where it's a very roasty, chocolatey smell or grain. Yeah, almost a, a sweeter chocolate in there, but that roasted malt, those darker roasted malts really stand out uh, along with some chocolate, sweeter chocolate. Maybe a hint of cinnamon. It smells... It, it smells, and I don't know if it's because of reading the front of it saying Mexican style chocolate stout, but it, it does have that chocolate and cinnamon smell in there. I, I'm, I'm guessing it's cinnamon. I, I, I don't, I think if it didn't have the cinnamon, it would be more of a roasted malt coffee kind of chocolate and it, at least because I read it, it does smell cinnamon chocolate. Let's go ahead and get a taste. Darker roast, roasted grains, almost to the burnt point. Uh, a little bit of coffee, maybe some chocolate like in the middle of the palate, like some cinnamon chocolate, but the aftertaste is almost like a burnt roasted coffee, like us with, with a little bit of sweetness, but for 7%, they are going to use a little bit more grain, so I do think you're going to get some sweetness out of this, and they're going to leave some sweetness behind. When I drink this, I think of a, a milk stout with like almost an ex, like a, a burnt coffee aftertaste. I 
There's a little bit of sweetness in there, maybe a hint of chocolate, but I really get that roasted malt. It's lighter bodied, light to medium, pushing medium, but not quite there. I really don't pick up on like a big chocolate. Like what I would think would be in a Mexican chocolate stout, that cinnamon, maybe some of that pepper. I don't get that out of this beer. <clears throat> it, I would go with roasted, almost burnt malt, a little bit of sweetness, a tiny bit of, uh, of like chocolate but like milk chocolate, not bitter chocolate. I think the bitterness is coming from those roasted grains because at the front of the palate, you are getting that burnt, almost burnt malt. And I think if it was coming from the chocolate, the if the bitterness was coming from the chocolate, I think it would be a little smoother, a little bit more pleasant up front in that chocolate grain or darker grain. I would almost like to see them leave the, the Mexican style chocolate stout and maybe just call it a chocolate stout. I would probably have to go 3.75 out of 5. I do like the beer. I wish it would go in one direction or the other. The aftertaste, like I said, is like a burnt coffee and there is coffee in here. I don't get vanilla. Like, I didn't even think about that until I just looked down at the can and saw that it had vanilla. I don't get vanilla at all. I think that that dark roasted malt really takes over everything. That burnt coffee taste uh, in the aftertaste just destroys your palate. This almost tastes like a, a shot of espresso drinking it straight up. And that's where I was saying, I think the bitterness in the back is coming from that and not like a chocolate. I don't know if they put chocolate in here or not. <clears throat> but yeah, 3.75 out of 5 for $4. Uh, I, I do think it's a little bit expensive because the flavors aren't like mellowed or they, they don't work well because of that burnt coffee and that almost burnt grain that I get at least uh, three I would like to see this around 350 let's check untapped one person has one of my friends has rated this average 3.75 out of five almost a thousand people have rated this average 3.73 one person said, uh, good coffee and chocolate notes, a lot thinner than most other stouts. Yes, I do agree with that. Like I said in the pour, it was, it was more of a porter color and the body isn't quite even to medium. I think it should be a lot bigger. Uh, yeah, uh, from... Um, the the details on untapped of this beer yeah chocolate stout chocolate sombrero um uh coffee and vanilla we'll see if anybody else uh, says anything real quick and that is it obviously because only one of my friends has had this yeah i think it's one to pick up and try if you're into those big roasted malts almost burnt coffee uh if you can if, if you can deal with that um, I can drink this whole thing, which I will do. Uh, definitely one to pick up. But if you're not a huge dark malt fan and you want more of an aged stout, I would probably stay away from this one. So if you like this review, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.